I think I need to see a physio. You know, every professional sports team has a physiotherapist. And for most, they're the first person you run or hobble to if you've got an injury. That's because they assess and treat injuries as well as trying to prevent them from happening again. And they don't just treat sports muscular injuries, they treat all sorts of pain and medical reasons. Oh, let's go try find one. They can assist with neurological conditions, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injuries and even chest conditions like emphysema and asthma. I think I may have just twinged my back, so I must admit my motivation for meeting and chatting to a physiotherapist is slightly selfish. So while we're learning what a physiotherapist actually does, I'm hoping Renee Fish can sort my back out. You must be Renee. I am. Hi Jesse. how are you going? I'm good, I'm chasing a physio. Do you think you can help me out? Definitely, come around this way. Cool. Okay, so first up, what does a typical day for a physio look like? There's no typical day as a physio, so because we treat any kind of body part, any condition um, as well, depending on what the patient comes in with, nothing's ever the same. Every patient is an individual. We also work across at the hospital, so we may see people after they've had an operation and after they've had a baby or if they've got chest problems. Cool. So why did you want to become a physio? I had no idea what I wanted to do when I graduated high school. I was flicking through the university course guides one day and I came across the physiotherapy section, had a read and thought, this sounds, sounds like me, played to my strengths. Is there much work out there for? There's a lot of work out there, so you've got hospital, you've got community based, you've got sports clubs, um, you've got private practice, there's a huge range of physiotherapy jobs out there. And so what's the hardest part of the job? The hardest part of the job um, would be knowing that some patients can't, can't be fixed, they can't be cured. What they have is either progressive, so it's going to get worse. I do get some comfort in knowing with those people I can in some way make their life or their quality of life at least a little bit easier. It, would that be the most rewarding part of the job, actually fixing someone? It, it is, yeah. Knowing that you've, you've helped someone overcome whatever condition they had, that's definitely the best part, is when patients thank you sincerely. So if I wanted to be a physio, what's one piece of advice you would give me? I would definitely say make sure you put the effort in at uni, so make sure you study hard. Um, it's not an easy course, but it's definitely extremely rewarding. What characteristics does someone need to be a physio? Definitely need to have good interpersonal skills, good time management skills. You need to be able to motivate people. I think the biggest ones though, you need to have good problem solving and analytical skills as well. Cool, and so from school to today, how do you get to where you are? Well, at school it's best to kind of uh, study the subjects which are the prerequisites, which is usually physics or human biology. You need to put your preferences down for your unis. Once you get accepted, you can enrol and yeah, then the study starts. And so if you could end up where you are today but do one thing differently, what would that be? It would definitely be studying harder when I was, when I was at uni, yep. So it would make it so much easier, less pressure on myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today. No worries. But yeah, I've got a bit of a sore back. How about, how about a massage? Sure. Let's have a look. So there you have it. If you're a physical person, like working with people and good with your hands, maybe physio is the thing for you. For more information and to get involved, hit up studentedge.com.au. Yep. Ah, that's the, that's the spot.